Uh, moving on now to some more news uh, coming in. This time it's about the sister Bhaya murder case. Remember, the court uh, had been looking into this matter uh, for almost uh, 28 years and they have now found the father and sister guilty in this case. The quantum of sentencing and the punishment will be decided tomorrow. But as this verdict comes after, like I said, 28 years, the court has found the accused guilty in the sister Bhaya murder case. The court has now convicted father Thomas Couture and sister Steffi as uh, first and second accused in this matter. Sneha Merikoshi joins us live for more on this. Sneha, uh, Sneha it's been a long 28-year-old long uh, battle, really, legal battle that has been going on. What more can you tell our viewers about the background on this case and what this uh, actually means? Well, this is a case with a lot of twists and turns, Sonal, and it's not just a legal battle. Um, legal battle started much, much later. This crime happened in 1992. And uh, years, uh, the local police and crime hunt uh, had covered this case as a death by suicide amidst a lot of protests and petitions. The case was handed over to the CBI in 1993. Three final uh, closure reports were rejected by the court of the CBI. And uh, the court had uh, wanted a detailed probe into certain suspicious aspects. And that's when in 2008, three accused were arrested in this case. The one accused, uh, two of them have been convicted uh, as the verdict came out today. One of them was acquitted earlier. So who are these convicts? If you look at that, this itself is a story, telling story of power and nexus. Uh, Father Thomas Kotur, he was a vicar at that time. He was, he, um, he was the secretary to the then bishop, rose up to be the chancellor of the Catholic Diocese in Kotem. And uh, Sister Sefi, she was uh, literally the de facto head for this convent where Sister Abhya was living. And uh, according to CBI, Sister Abhya, who had gotten up early that morning to study, and she, as she was leaving her room for the kitchen at uh, 4.45 in the morning, she uh, was testimony or witness to uh, certain uh, suspicious situations inside the hostel involving uh, the priest and the nun. And... Um, it was an attempt to cover up that, that she was hit with some a blunt object like an axe and eventually her body was thrown into the well. Absolutely gruesome, shocking. 28 years on, there's, a ju uh, there's justice which seems to have come now. Parents died four years ago. The lone surviving member of uh, the Action Council has gone ahead and said that finally uh, uh, Sister Abhya will be able to rest in peace. Back to you, Sonal.